Go starting off CNC break number 13,016. Start off with the graded nine young guns of Carl Klingberg for the Winnipeg Jets. Klingberg, Winnipeg. We've got a nine five young guns of Magnus Johansson, Chicago Blackhawks. Nine five young guns. And we got a graded nine synergy red rookie, LA Kings, Adrian Kempe. Christmas lights show up. So cute. L.A. Kings. Thirteen, fourteen. Let's get a Mac. We've got an oversized Boone Jenner. That's Columbus. All right. I don't think I've opened a McKinnon yet in this, so I'm, I'm hoping tonight is a night. Tonight is a night to get a McKinnon. We've got a young gun, Chicago Blackhawks of Joaquin Nordstrom. Chicago. Joaquin Nordstrom. That goes there. That goes there. Time to wait over there. We got a canvas for the Boston Bruins of Bergeron. We got a 1980s for the Habs of Patrick Waugh. MVP of Luongo. We've got a Young Guns for the Montreal Canadiens, Nathan Beaulieu. Nathan Bolio. Mm, that's nothing, right? Or over there. He can go there if he wants. Base. This is a Saturday mix. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, of 16 and... Sorry, the two box break of what? We've got a rookie to $9.99 for the Penguins of Shane... Endicott. Hmm. No idea. We've got a Blake Bellefuel to 1,000. Ice rookie for the Blue Jackets. Bellefuel. Number to 1,000. Fresh faces of Mike Peluso. For the Chicago Blackhawks. I really enjoyed the uh, look of the ice. We've got a dual rookie treasures do a uh, jersey of Matthew Darsh for the Blue Jackets. Matthew Darsh. Yeah, we're we're going in the order uh, of what they're getting filled at. V is that a victory? Victory performers. Of Christian Husalius for the Florida Panthers. And don't worry, guys, the focus will go back in once I. Uh... Is he doing the chair? Is he doing the chair? We've got a Martin Erat for the Nashville Predators. Tell him to do the chair. Top shelf jersey, Miroslav Shatan. It's your first time here? Nice. So the series won 16-7. I believe that's the next one we're doing. I believe that's the next one. 
Uh, is that the 13,006? We've got a redemption, Washington Capitals, probably absolutely useless at this point. Base. Edmonton Oilers redemption, again, probably utterly useless at this point. I was really hoping we were going to get a better mem out of this. And that was not a good box. Anna, can you actually tell him to do the chair if you can? Tell him to do the chair if you can. I'm going to be about 15 minutes. in for the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, Martin St. Louis. We've got a Premier Cut Double Diamond, a full enough for the Calgary Flames. Double Diamond of Marcus Naslin for the Vancouver Canucks. Quad Diamond for the Maple Leafs, Matt Sundin, Quad Diamond. Rookie Gems, Triple Diamond for the Detroit Red Wings of Abdul Cater. Double Diamond of Brad Richards for the Dallas Stars. <laughs> yeah, it was a mess indeed. Triple Diamond of Pavel Datsuk for the Red Wings. All right, I got some fun uh, conversation, I'm sure, tonight. Kari Lettinen for the Winnipeg Jets, double diamond. In the history of the NHL in the last, actually, we'll say the last 30 years. 30 years, NHL. Quad jersey for the Ottawa Senators, Martin Gerber. Ottawa Senators. Who do you guys think in the last 30 years is the most underrated player? In the last 30 years. Zach Parise for the New Jersey Devils. We've got a double diamond ruby for the Vancouver Canucks of Daniel Sedin. Mike Bossy. Hmm. Interesting one. We've got a triple diamond of Oscar Moeller for the LA Kings. Base. Dave Anderchuk, I like that one. That could be an interesting one. Mike Ribeiro for the Dallas Stars. Double diamond. Quad jersey of Ole Jokinen for the Coyotes. Quad jersey, Ole Jokinen, Coyotes. Pierre Turgeon. Actually, the Cavalier is not a bad one either. Quad diamond rookie gems for the Coyotes of Bodker. Bodker. Max Domi. <laughs> I said underrated, not overrated. We got an Eric Stahl triple diamond for the Carolina Hurricanes.
Rick Tockett. Interesting, interesting. We've got a premier cut of Danny Alfredson. Auto centers. Oh, I don't know if Sack was underrated. I feel like he was very highly uh, respected by pretty much everybody. Double diamond of Jason Arnett. Speaking of, Jason Arnett, wasn't he a pretty damn good uh, points guy? I feel like he didn't get a lot of love, to be fair. And uh, Patrick Hornquist for the Preds. Rookie jump, triple diamond. How many goals did Jason Arnett get in his career? I feel like he could be a contender for that, uh, that underrated. Or maybe I'm wrong on him. Keith Kachuk. Yeah, he was a beast. Mike Gardner. Was he not? I might be wrong in it. Five, six hundred goals. Retro Rainbow Rookie Makar for the Avalanche. Kevin Stevens. Hmm. Marky Rookie of Sedina for the Red Wings. Gibson for the Ducks. All right, here's a fun one and a legitimate fun one. Faraby for the Flyers rookie and a Kucherov rainbow. Overrated. Who's the most overrated in the last 30 years? And I want honest answers, guys, not, not people that you just hate. Who's the most overrated, do you guys think? New Jersey Devils rainbow of Subban. I'm sure that's going to spike, uh, get some good conversation going. Marky rookie for the Rangers of Fox. Panarin, best in the world for the Rangers. Lindros, interesting. Marky, rookie of Jones for the Ducks. And a thrilling finishes of Dre Seidel for the Oilers. Radulha. Marky, rookie, sunset parallel of Sorella for the Hawks. Marky, rookie of Bluger for the Penguins. Jeff Carter, Sunset Parallel for the LA Kings. Eric Carlson. Hmm. Marky Rookie of Verhage for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Zdeno Chara, Boston Bruins, a 3.99. Dangle. Yeah, it could have been. Marky Rookie for Vegas, Cody Glass. Jack Hughes, Retro Rookie for the Devils. I am ripping 1920 Platinum. Marky Rookie of Henola for the Jets. Marky Rookie Rainbow. Kirby Doc for the Hawks. We've got a Marky Rookie Kirby Doc for the Hawks. And a Marky Rookie Violet Pixels Teddy Bluger for the Penguins. Fanuf, I actually might put up there. I would actually not disagree with Fanuf. Marky Rookie of Micaiah for the Leafs. Anders Lee for the Islanders Retro. Because Fanuf was massively hyped. Marky Rookie of Gusev for the Devils. Rainbow for the Anaheim Ducks of Fowler. And a Retro for the Arizona Coyotes of Ranta. So we've had Le Cavalier on the overrated and the underrated side. Hmm. We got a pink parallel of Jonathan Huberto for the Florida Panthers. Poor Le Cavalier. Best in the world for the Tampa Lightning of Stamkos. Marky Rookie of Frost for the Flyers. Mark andre Fleury for the Vegas Golden Knights. Some good answers, though. I like, uh, I like some of these answers. Marky Rookie of Fairberry for the Caps. Lungfist for the Rangers. Marky, rookie of Gautier for the Canes, and that's a cool one. Calder Frontrunners, Taro Herosi. Taro Herosi. That's a pretty cool one. Giroux. Don't say that to Ashley. Marky Rookie of Paling for the Habs. Sandine for the Maple Leafs.
You know what? I will say blue shirts. A lot of the merit for Anderson comes from playoffs. A lot of people think because he has not taken us to the next round that he's overrated. I think also a lot of people honestly forget that we might not have made the playoffs it was if it wasn't for Freddie. Like, trust me, I think there's a lot of holes in the Leaf team. Anderson's not one of them. Thomas Cobber, like, that might be one of the ones. Yes, that might be one. Miko Rontanen for the Avalanche. Uh, green and a rookie relic jumbo jersey to 199 Rasmussen. He literally did nothing after he left Toronto, eh? Haberle might be one of those guys. Same with uh, was Brian Berard. Did Brian Berard have a decent uh, year after he left? Seth Jones for the Jackets. Green, $9.99 for the Devils of Michael McLeod. We've got a Ryan O'Reilly for the St. Louis Blues. $9.99 Sub-Zero rookie for the Buffalo Sabres. Casey Middlestad. We've got a Tarasenko for the Blues Green and a $4.99 for the Boston Bruins of Vakaninen. I will say, Golden, to be honest, Leaf fans, I feel, are divided on him. I would say a lot of Leaf fans crap on him. I think it's very, well, not few, but decent amount. We've got a Couturier for the Flyers Green and a Swatches of Trocheck for the Florida Panthers. I, I just feel it's a very love or hate for him. There's not an in-between. Like, all my family, most of my friends realize that Freddy's pretty damn good. Hamilton for the Canes. Green, Sub-Zero of Patrick Kane for the Hawks. But the problem is you do get the people who are uh, absolutely against him and think he is the worst goalie in the NHL, which is fine. So that's going to happen. You're going to have people who disagree with that. The Premier Pack's already? No. The Premier is uh, next. I don't know if you're talking about something else in the Premier. Keep drinking the Kool-Aid. So, Snowdog, you actually think Anderson's overrated? I'm curious, other than your, he can't win a playoff game. Kopitar milestones for the LA Kings. Why you honestly think that? I'm just kind of curious. We got a moment of Vegas Golden Knights. We got a Patrick Kane, Hawks, Red. We got a Marcel Dion, red for the LA Kings. Joe Sackick, milestones for the Quebec Nordiques. Alex Daigle. Yeah, Daigle might be that. Muzzin for the uh, Maple Leafs update. Marner's a boss. Okay. We've got a Dave Spectrum for the Hawks. We've got a Colin Delia for the Hawks Young Guns. And a Young Guns Gritty. I just, I, I'm curious for people who say Anderson's overrated. More so you, Snowdog. Why do you view him as honestly overrated? I'm very curious. Spectrum Future Watch of Travis Dermott for the Maple Leafs. We've got a moment of line A for the Jets. Yakupov worst first pick. I'm I wouldn't uh, doubt that either. We've got a Mantha retro rookie for the Red Wings. <laughs> Ready? We've got a future watch auto to nine ninety nine of Jordan Greenway for the Minnesota Wild. Um. Well, if you're basing it off that, how many? Is, is McDavid and Matthews and those guys also bad players because they don't go very far? Good goalies can win. I guess Carey Price sucks right now. Well, I guess he only he won one series. McDavid for the Oilers All-Star. We've got a moment of Patrick Kane for the Hawks. Milestones for the Oilers of Gretzky.
Sign of the times, Andy Moog. I, I would be curious though, Snowdog, who's the best good goalie that you think with a bad team that carried him? In the playoffs and won single-handedly. Because I don't feel like there's many. Charlie McAvoy for the Boston Bruins. And I'd love to give you some exam like you give me some examples. Tanner Pearson, Penguins. Update. Because every goalie that's basically gone far, the team in front of them has been phenomenal. All right. What's up, Alex? That's what I think people are forgetting. Anderson probably has one of the worst defensive cores in front of him. You cannot take that away from him. <laughs> We've got a 199 Tomash Hurdle. Tomash Hurdle. We've got for the Ottawa Senator 299 Brandstrom. Brandstrom. And according to your stats, if you if you did this snow dog, and this is why, in my opinion, I think you can't look at stats. According to your numbers last year, Vasilevsky sucked. We've got a rookie auto acetate to 99, Cole Sherwood for the Blue Jackets. For the San Jose Sharks, we've got a fight strap rookie, Mario Ferraro. Mario Ferraro. For the Anaheim Ducks, John Gibson. Memorable premieres. And Anaheim Ducks, John Gibson. Regular. There you go. So now I'm going to do the multi-random folks for the uh, chronology box. Also, just a random thing. Did did uh, Anderson, did he not have the most shots against him last year? I, I believe he did. All right, whoever lands on top gets the chronology box three times. One, two, three. Hockey pop. Congrats. 